we have the tradition of the church to explicate it more fully, but also this. Our current Pope says this. One of the purposes of Trinitarian language, so God is one, but God is three, is meant to confound us. It's meant to block us. It's meant to confuse us. At the liturgy, at very sacred moments, we will incense. So the book, we incense the ambo, we incense the altar, we incense the gifts. Well, part of the symbolism there, of course, is as our prayers rise up to God and so on. But Ratzinger says also, a purpose of the incensation is to get in your eyes. It's to, it's to block you. It's meant to say, don't think you can see all that clearly what's going on here. Don't think for a minute that you're in control of the situation. You're not. And so Trinitarian language is a bit like that. It's meant to be smoke in the eyes of the mind so that we're not tempted to say, I fully understand God. St. Augustine, who was one of the most profound reflectors on the Trinity, said, Si comprehendus non est Deus. That means, if you understand, it's not God. The minute you say, yes, I've got it now, I understand, drop it, says Augustine, that isn't it. God is ever greater. And the Trinity, I think, is a way of signaling that, that we never fully understand God. You know, in the liturgy, we use incense, and you put incense around the altar. And to some degree, that symbolizes you know, our prayers going up to God. But our present Pope, Benedict XVI, said, the incense also symbolizes um, how you're, you're meant to block your vision, how smoke gets in your eyes and you can't see, and it blocks your approach to the altar. Well, that's part of, of theological language. It's meant to get in your eyes. It's meant to obfuscate a bit. It's meant to confuse you because the minute you say, oh, I got it. Oh, yeah, I understand. So I, I see you. I see things in the world. And, oh, yeah, I understand God, too. <laughs> then you don't have it. That isn't God. So Augustine's thing is, the minute you, you've got a clear concept, drop it. That isn't it. So theological language does have, to some degree, that purpose to confound you. A very good example, of course, is that God is both three and one. God is supremely one, and God is a trinity of persons. Well, go figure. And that's part of the purpose of it, is to, is to block the mind and to block the kind of eagle-eye approach we have to things. Got it. Got it. See it. Understand it. No, you don't when, it's, when it comes to God.